What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Broke Girls Art School. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I bleach this design onto the shirt. And um, yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you wanna see some more art tutorials from me. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab like, I just cut up a piece of cardboard that I had laying around from one of my hundreds of Amazon boxes. <laughs> but yeah, just put something in between the shirt so the bleach isn't gonna be bleeding through. And then I like to make sure that I tape it nice and tight on the back so that fabric isn't like moving around while I'm trying to paint on there. And it just makes it a lot easier to draw. Um, you could definitely like stencil a design for this if you were to put like your shirt on some sort of LED surface. Like I have done designs before where I just kind of like put my iPad in between and then I traced off of that. But for this, I thought I would just freehand it on here. And for the pencil, I am using just a regular yellow uh, Prismacolor colored pencil. I haven't tried other kinds of colored pencils with this, but I really like Prismacolor and it transfers really nice on the shirt. So I would recommend getting that kind of pencil to trace your design. And now we are just getting our flower all mapped out. Can never go wrong with flowers. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of wish that I would have used like a bigger, like maybe put like a cutting board in between my shirt or something, just so I had a little bit more space for the design. I mean, it still takes up a really good chunk of the shirt, so I'm happy with it, but I think in the future, I'm gonna go a little bit bigger, which I can always add to this if I want to, but we'll see. Um, so you can see over to the left, that's where I have like my diluted bleach mixtures. So I just mixed bleach with water um, but I think in the future, I'm definitely going to add like quite a bit more water and put those in bigger cups because you can see this mixture here is just like instantly brightening up the shirt like a lot. Um, this was still good to use for this project because I planned on keeping it pretty simple. Like I wasn't going into crazy detail. Um, but throughout like working on the skull and everything, I was definitely like dipping in water and then dipping into the bleach mixture just to dilute it a little bit more. But this is cool because it's basically like you're painting in negatives, you know, so instead of like adding color, you're taking away color, which I like. And the forehead in my reference was like definitely one of the brightest areas, so kept that pretty light. But I definitely wanted to take advantage of my high contrast areas, so like the parts that were like super dark, like in the eyes and the nose, like I wanted to leave those solid black just to really like set it back from the foreground. And then the first thing that I'm doing, um, I thought it'd be easiest if I just went in and got all of my really bright tones out of the way. So I'm getting all the really light spots out of the way first. And here's some real time. As you can see, I'm just painting it right on there. And with a 100% cotton shirt, the bleach activates super fast. So if you're looking for more subtle tones, I would definitely add like a lot more water with your bleach. And just a forewarning, like the bleach can definitely kind of like erode at your uh, paintbrush. So I would just buy like some cheap paintbrushes for this and obviously don't use any nice ones because they're just going to get ruined. Here we're just getting the teeth mapped out. Again, these are my lightest areas, but yeah, this bleach is definitely activating super quick, which is nice because I didn't have to wait forever for it to dry. Yeah, my brush really wasn't even that wet for this. Like even every time after I would dip in the bleach, I would kind of dab off on the paper towel afterwards. So I didn't want it to like expand too much because the, you know, the more wetness on the brush, the more that's gonna like leak into the fabric. I 
I do think this is super cool to watch in time lapse though, like just to be able to see that brighten up. And you definitely gotta trust the process with stuff like this because it does take time to kind of build up those tones and values. Like, you know, it, it always starts out looking like shit and then the more that you work with it, it just gets better as time goes on. But yeah, so here I introduce most of the mid-tones and like I said, I'm just adding more water to my brush to not make it go on so super bright. But I do think that this is turning out super cool. It ended up having like a pretty illustrative effect, which I think is really good for clothes. It's definitely like a super readable design. So like if I saw that from across the room, I would know that it was a skull and a flower. And then for the flower here, I was taking straight bleach for like the outer parts of the petals because I wanted it to be like super bright to like stand out from the inside of the petal. So this is just pure bleach that I'm using, I'm not diluting it at all. And another thing that you can do if you wanna like, you know, fine tune your design and like add more sharp details is you can get like a black fabric, fabric marker after you're done with your design and then go in and like reintroduce some more details that way as well. But for this, I like that it had that kind of sketchy illustrative look, so I decided to leave it as is. And then here we're just adding some mid-tones, so a little bit more diluted, adding some mid-tones on the inside of the petals. I went ahead and outlined the petals with straight bleach as well. Or actually, no, that was diluted bleach to outline the petals because I didn't want it to be like super bright. And then we're just going ahead and outlining those leaves. And then I'm just adding um, some diluted bleach on the top half of the leaves and then just a couple little like lines on the bottom side. And then here, blow drying it just to speed up that drying process so I can get a good grasp of what the shirt's gonna look like when, it fin when it's finished. And then here, I'm just adding a couple more leaves just to fill it out a little bit more. All right, and this is what the shirt is looking like so far. Um, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do once you have your design all finished um, is you need to deactivate the bleach so it doesn't continue to eat into the shirt because it can like cause holes over time. So what you wanna do is soak the shirt for like 10 minutes in a one to 10 ratio of peroxide and water. This is just 3% peroxide. So I did 10 cups of water and then one cup of peroxide. We're gonna go ahead and submerge that and let it soak for a little bit. All right guys, and this is what the shirt looks like after I washed and dried it. Again, I'm super stoked with how this came out. I mean, I might be a little biased, but I think it's a dope shirt for five bucks. Thanks for checking out my video, you guys. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see some more content. <laughs>